On today's book spot, we're having a look at Batmobile, the complete history. Written by Mark Cotavaz with a forward Q&A with Paul Levitz and Nathan Crowley. This comes to us from the folks over at Insight Editions who published this book. And I believe it was published back in June of 2012. So it's a little bit older of a book, but as with if you ever get a chance to check out your local bookstores, you can generally still find a lot of these books. And I look and looking at this, and as I hopefully show you, you guys will definitely want to pick up this book as well. With now the glimpse of the new Batmobile, a small glimpse, same as we kind of got a small glimpse of uh, Ben Affleck as Batman, um, I thought it was going to be kind of fitting to go back and look at some of the other Batmobiles that led us to this point. And featured on the front is this awesome image of the now, I guess now destroyed Tumblr. Um, just a little brief, uh, a little brief detail about the the author. Uh, by the way, Mark Cotavaz, Cotavaz is a New York Times bestseller author with more than twenty five published books, including the critically acclaimed *Living Dangerously: The Adventures of Marion C. Cooper*, the creator of *King Kong*, a TLA finalist selection. His making of books have documented uh, TV's loss. So, for those who probably have picked up a couple of his books from *Lost*, you might recognize his work and feature films such as The Spirit and The Twilight Movies. I didn't really uh, watch The Twilight Movies, so I'm not, I would not have picked up any of his uh, books for that. However, though, he did a phenomenal job on this Batmobile book, and as you probably know, Batman is one of my favorite superheroes of all time, Superman and Batman. So, fittingly, I'm really excited for Superman and Batman when it eventually comes out. But uh, one of Batman's more infamous, not really infamous, but one of his more famous uh, gadgets was his Batmobile. And this covers really the entire scope, as Spotted mentioned, for all the Batmobiles, not only from the comics, but also all the movies. And I'm going to go through some of it, uh, but uh, I, I don't like to give you guys, I don't want to show you guys every single page, because really, if you're a fan of Batman, you probably already have this book, but if you haven't had a chance to pick it up, I don't want to give away every single thing that's inside this book. So we're going to look at a couple of couple of uh, pages here. On the inside, some drawings. It says, here for the first time is the complete history of the sleek, sophisticated, un uh, incomparable Batmobile. In addition to comic books, the Batmobile has been immortalized in nearly every imaginable medium, including film, television, toys, and video games. Most recently... It was given breathtaking new life and extraordinary capabilities in Christopher Nolan's groundbreaking Dark Knight trilogy. This book explores uh, each incarnation of the Batmobile in unparalleled detail and scope, with special attention paid to Nolan's Tumblr. With stunning photo uh, photographs, detailed specs, blueprints, concept artwork, and original interviews, Batmobile The Complete History is an inform informational and visual delight for Otto and Batman fans alike. It's a high-speed journey that will leave you breathless. And you know what? That's about right, because I've already gone through this entire book, and I was... I was kind of taken back by some of the, the amazing stuff that you'll end up getting in this book. Uh, it says Batmobile, the complete history. There's a picture of... Where is he? There's a picture of Christian Bale, former Batman, on the front there, on the inside. A picture of the Tumblr. Um, from, uh, I guess, this would be Dark Knight. The Dark Knight's inner scene. There's something primal about the relationship of man and machine, and the Batmobile fits into this powerful place of, in the psyche. That's Christopher Nolan, director of the Dark Knight trilogy. One of the images, though not really from the Nolan universe, there's a, one of the images from uh, Batman Forever. Didn't like the movie, but I like the Batmobile. This kind of hot rod design with the, the side uh, scale opening, I thought was a nice touch. It says, a black thunderbolt on wheels, a swift nemesis to lawbreakers, a mighty machine of justice, that's the Batmobile. That's Batman... Uh, number 98, March 1956. There's a picture of the Tumblr there. So, as we flip through the book, 
You'll see some images from the comics. You'll see a couple of images. You'll find actually a lot of images from the Nolan uh, trilogy. Some uh, pre kind of, well, I shouldn't say that, introduction of uh, Batman, Detective Comics, number 27. And uh, you've got on the side, you've got the Batmobile. And some artwork there. So as it goes, let's flip through this quickly. You'll see some of the early drawings of the Batmobile. Which I guess was red, is that right? The original Batmobile, prior to being painted. There's a sudden rending, smashing wood as the Batmobile, yeah, it was red, crashes through the barred garage doors. Batman tweaking his Batmobile, the several different incarnations. There goes Robin on another mission, but what happened to Batman? There's the, is that the Robin Mobile? Something you probably will recognize. The classic Adam West Batmobile. Bat bike. Rear and detail views underscore the Batmobile's personality. A top mobile phone um, ahead of a time and the zippy bat cycle. Mattel's kid-friendly version of the latter. And as you flip through it, you've got the 89 Batm Batmobile, which by far, by many collectors and fans of Batman out there, one of their favorite Batmobiles. The story of the Batmobile. Inner workings of this, I guess this would be the 80, yep, yeah, the 89 Batman, uh, Batmobile. Blueprints. How uh, Penguin's villains, Penguin's uh, uh, henchmen, I should say, how they possibly could get blueprints of the Batmobile for Batman Returns is, I still don't understand it. It's as, it makes as much sense as the bat shields that just kind of, it went, and it's just kind of folded out of nowhere. I don't know. But uh, it, it gives you definitely a, a very, very extensive breakdown of how the Batmobile worked. Radius of upper fender belt line uh, doubles as swing out tripping poles, which I think they use more so in uh, Batman Returns. Bat wing like fan spreads open from beneath sides. Didn't really have that, but then a, a breakdown of the Batmobile. Batmobile with engine and vital components exposed for dwarves tinkering. Dwarves tinkering. And some images. There's a nice, oh, I love that image of Batmobile. I would love to get that as a poster. If I, if I only had the money, Spot would totally buy himself a Batmobile from eBay. I've seen some of them on eBay, but of course, you know, I don't have this. If there's somebody out there that has a Batmobile and would love to give it to Spot, Spot would really like that. Any, anyways, there's the Batmobile from Batman Forever. Again, crappy movie. I didn't like it. I didn't like it. But uh, I liked the Batmobile. Even if it went up the side of the wall, which made no sense either. But nice drawing of the Batmobile. And then you get to, sadly, there's always going to be a low point. You get to Batman and Robin. There's the ice. Ice to see you, Batman. Mr. Freeze gets a cool car of his own in the Freeze Mobile. Some drawings of the Freeze Mobile on the side. And then we start getting to, well, we we missed the Batmobile section. The Batmobile section is right, uh, I think right here. Yeah, there we go. The Batman, Batman and Robin Batmobile. But then like the majority, well, I shouldn't say it. The rest of the book is focused on the Christopher Nolan tumbler, which suits me really fine because it was still one of my favorite Batmobiles. The idea that it really could realistically do a lot of the things that you saw in the movie. I'm sure many people have seen. The evolution of the tumbler through initial sculpts, revised designs, and final line art. And some more images, some side profiles, front and back profile. The treads. 
just uh, just give me like five minutes five minutes in the tumbler okay maybe like 20 minutes i would love to drive around in a tumbler oh, will it ever happen probably won't city of chaos and it shows also the poor poor tumbler it blowing up that pod inside and there's the bat pod again it really covers a lot there's the camo tumblers from uh, dark knight rises i mean the the book really encompasses a lot and then at the back the the icing on the cake as it were you get all the batmobiles put together which i believe was also in the feature section of the dark knight rises there was a whole section on the batmobile which is kind of really the video version of this book and uh, at, at the end of that video, or at, at the end of that feature, they get collectors and the designers of all those Batmobiles to come together and compare their Batmobiles. Batman and Robin's Batmobile actually wasn't too bad. I, I didn't mind it. And some nice comic drawings of the various Batmobiles as well. The toys. And there you go. Uh, again, it's... Spot tried not to show every single thing in the book, but you really get the idea that it encompasses a lot. If you're a big Batman fan, and certainly a big Batmobile fan, this is a book you definitely would want to pick up. Today's book spot, we're having a look in the Insight Editions Batmobile The Complete History. Stay tuned, guys. Spot's going to have more book spots heading your way. As always, I certainly thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.